Yo, 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 what is up, YouTube? Elder Rose Gaming here. Not exactly. Yo, 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 what is up, YouTube? Elder Rose Gaming here. And if you guys want to skip the review portion of this video, go ahead and use the timestamp on screen to go straight into the tutorial. But Go ahead and stick around if you do want to see how to use or what this comes with. In today's video, I am going to be showing you guys how to download an X-Ray texture pack that's pretty much going to allow you to effectively get netherite, diamonds, emerald, iron, coal, anything underground. You know, you can find the stronghold easier, you can find dungeons easier. Anyways, I'm going to show you guys how to use the X-Ray that I'm going to show you guys how to download in this video. So go ahead and go to the world that you want to put the X-Ray on. In my case, it's going to go ahead and be a new world because I don't want to put it on a world that I already have so I'm gonna create a new world uh, so once you're in the settings of the world that you want to put the pack on just go down to resource packs and press a on my packs once you press a on my packs go ahead and press a on x-ray made by d6b and then press a on activate now if you want to go ahead and change it like from diamonds to netherite to like a specific type of ore go ahead and press a on active and then go into the x-ray right here press a on x-ray and then instead of pressing the active go to the right and press a on this gear icon that's to the left of the check mark once you press a on that gear icon it should bring up a menu now it should be disabled by default so you're gonna go ahead and have to move it to the left and pick one that you guys prefer now this one says allows you to see most mods players items and most types of storages through blocks now if you guys are gonna use this texture pack for specifically only netherite you just need to move to the left until you see this one right here resolution nether x-ray through netherite and soul sand so you should be able to see netherite and all the other ores inside of the nether pretty easily now they also have different modes like x-ray for specifically diamonds x-ray for emeralds gold iron redstone coal lapis netherite and then i'm gonna go ahead and press a on create and show you guys how to use it because there's a couple more steps on using it properly Alrighty, so i went ahead and entered the nether um here's some more proof that i am on xbox brought up my menu uh but anyways as you guys could see this this x-ray definitely is working and i could see an insane amount of ores all around me let's go ahead and see if we could find some netherite though and i know a lot of you might be asking this but no this mod does not really disable achievements so you can still earn achievements while using this now as you guys could see there is a problem with this x-ray now from pretty far away it's going to be pretty difficult to tell what is what so in order to fix this you need to go ahead and hit the pause button go into settings and now once you're in settings you go down to video and then you just keep going down in the video settings until you see smooth lighting you need to disable smooth lighting because as you can see it definitely made things a bit more clearer now if you want to see even more clearer and even more farther away you just need to make yourself a night vision potion now i recommend using redstone on the potion to extend it up to eight minutes so you won't have to make that many now go ahead and drink the potion and voila as you guys can see it makes it way easier to see especially if you're using the x-ray in the overworld now uh using this x-ray i already see so much ancient debris i see one two three four five six seven eight 9, 10, 11, 11 ancient debris. But yeah, I think that's going to be it for the tutorial or I guess showcase section of this video. It's not really the tutorial section because the next part is going to be the tutorial section. So if this video was helpful in any way, shape, or form, make sure to hit that like button. Share the video with anyone who you think might also enjoy. Subscribe if you're new. Turn on notifications to be notified whenever I go live or upload a new video in the future. It's been your boy, Others Gaming, and let's get straight into the tutorial. Real quick before I get into the tutorial, I just wanted to let you guys know that if any of you encounter any type of or just need help with this tutorial in general go ahead and join my discord linked in the description i have a full team of admins admin leaders moderators and helpers that could hopefully help you out and guess what if they can't there's probably a bunch of people joining to fix the same problem that you're trying to fix so go ahead and join the discord to get help anyways the first step would just to go down and press a on the store once you press a on the store you want to go down and press a on search once you press a on search you need to type in my space f once you type in my space f you go up and press a on my files explorer 
Anyways, once this finishes loading up, over here on the right where it says launch for me, it will say purchase for $2.29 for you. But don't click off the video yet because where it says buy as a gift for me, it should say use free trial for you. Now this trial will last you 24 hours, an entire day. So if you guys want, you could do this tutorial and then go check out the rest of my videos because I have a bunch of different tutorials on all types of mods. Anyways, um, if you guys want to get the free trial again, all you got to do is create another Xbox account and activate the trial on that account and then switch to the Xbox account that you wasted the trial on. And you should be able to download things again if you don't want to buy it. But I went ahead and bought it because it's not even that much. It's pretty cheap. Anyways, the next thing you want to do is just open up Microsoft Edge. Now, the x-ray pack that we're actually going to be downloading is currently in the home. But just in case it is not here for you in the future, go ahead and press A on the magnifying glass at the top right. And then once this square comes up or rectangle, go ahead and press A on that rectangle to bring up the keyboard. You just want to type in X space R A Y for x-ray and then hit the pause button to begin the search. And the one you want to click on has this picture. Anyways, go ahead and press A on this picture and then once you press A on it and it finishes loading, all you gotta do is hold down the right analog to get past all of this useful information. And then once you hold down the right analog long enough, you will get to this area right here called the installation section and download section. You wanna press A on download x-ray.mc pack. Once you press A on download x-ray.mc pack, it'll open up a brand new tab. Don't freak out because this is the way he monetized his downloads. So all you gotta do is once this page loads is hold down the right analog to get past all that useful information. Once again, anyways, you want to press A on this right here. Once you reach the download section, the AdFly download, go ahead and press A on AdFly download. And once you press A on it, it'll open another tab that is pretty much going to be an AdFly link. And then at the top right, I had to mute this because it started playing a very loud sound. Uh, but anyways, once you're on this AdFly link at the top right, it should say uh, a countdown. And once the countdown is finished, go ahead and press A on skip add once that appears. Once you press A on skip add, it'll open up a brand new tab. You could go ahead and close this old one right here because you don't need it anymore. Keep the one that's redirecting you open and then go back to it and it should take you straight to the Mediafire download. Anyways, once you're on this website, go ahead and hover over the green rectangle that says download and then push the pause button aka the button with the three lines and it should bring up this menu. You want to press A on save target as. Once you press A on save target as, don't freak out because it's going to open up the remnants of the old file explorer. Once it finishes loading you just want to go to the bottom and press a on save once you press a on save it'll let you know when it downloaded at the bottom of the screen anyways the next thing you gotta do is just open up the other app that i told you guys to download called my files explorer Anyways, once your My Files Explorer finishes loading, go ahead and go to the top right, press A on the three dots. Once you press A on the three dots, you need to press A on Add Folder to Library. Once you add Folder to Library and this finishes loading, you just need to go to the left, hover over the clock symbol, and then hover over the symbol that looks like an Xbox One, and then press A on that symbol, and then go to the right, and then go to the bottom, and press A on Select. Once you do this, it should add the user MGR folder into this location. No, the number does not matter. Mine says zero, yours might be different. Go ahead and open up user MGR. And then go into downloads. This is where you will find what we just downloaded, the X-Ray MC Pack. Now, I'm going to go ahead and show you guys how to delete things because a lot of people ask me how to delete things. Now, this file right here is from a previous video that I made on how to download a Block Party minigame map. If you guys want to go ahead and see that video, please check it out. I put a lot of editing into it. You guys might actually find it entertaining. Uh, click on the annotation at the top right. The way you delete things is you just hover over the folder and then you push the pause button and it brings up this menu. You want to press A on delete. It's going to ask if you really do want to delete it. In my case, I really do. So I'm going to go ahead and press A on confirm and that'll delete the folder along with anything inside of it. Anyways, now that we showed you how to delete things, go ahead and hover over the file that we downloaded and then push the pause button, aka the button with the three lines, and then go ahead and press A on rename. Once you press A on rename, you just want to push the right bumper until you reach the end of the text and then erase the MC pack portion of it and replace it with dot zip. I repeat, do not get rid of that dot. If you do get rid of it on accident, you can replace it with another dot. Anyways, once you go ahead and type that in, go ahead and press A on confirm and that should go ahead and rename it to a dot now you want to hover over the .zip file and then put, go ahead and push A on extract and should begin extracting it. And as you guys can see, it honestly should not take too long to extract. We're pretty much about to reach 100% right now at the end of this sentence. And then once it's done extracting, 
you just need to go ahead and push A on it to go inside of the folder and then once you're inside of the folder and you see this folder right here, go ahead and push the pause button aka the button with the three lines to bring up this menu and then go ahead and press A on copy folder. I repeat, copy folder, not move folder, copy folder. Once you press A on copy folder, you just gotta press A on this device over on the left side and then go ahead and press A on the isolated storage in the center and then press A on packages at the top. Once you press A on packages, you just need to hold down the right analog and until you get to the Microsoft.Minecraft UWP console folder. Mine's is right here. Yours might be more to the left, more up, more down. Once you find your Microsoft.Minecraft UWP console folder, go ahead and open it up and then go into local state, games, Mojang, and then right here. If you do not have a resource underscore packs folder, you're going to need to create one. And the way you do that is pretty simple. You hover over the empty space on the right and then push the pause button to bring up this menu and then press A on new folder. Once you press A on new folder, go ahead and type in R E S O U R C E underscore P A C K S. It needs to be spelled exactly like mine or else it will not work. Go ahead and press A on confirm after typing that in and it should create the resource underscore packs folder. Once you have this folder, go ahead and open it up and then go into the empty space on the right and then push the pause button, aka the button with three lines and then go ahead and press A on paste and it should begin pasting the file that we copied earlier. Anyways, after it is finished pasting, you could go ahead and open up your Minecraft and I'm going to show you guys that it actually does work on Xbox and that it downloaded. Anyways, once your game finishes loading go ahead and press play now once you press play you need to press a on the pencil to the right of the world in my case i'm going to go ahead and create new and then once you press a on the pencil to the right of the world it should open up this menu and then just go down to resource packs and then go ahead and go to my packs and press a on it and as you guys can see here is the x-ray made by d6b so if you guys want to see more about this x-ray texture pack and how to use it and if you guys are having any type of issues just rewind to the beginning of the showcase portion of this tutorial because I'm not going to show you much here at the end. Real quick, here's some proof that I am on my Xbox One. But yeah, if you guys enjoyed the video, if this video was helpful in any way, shape, or form, make sure to hit that like button. Share the video with anyone who you think might enjoy. Subscribe if you're new. Turn on notifications to be notified whenever I go live or upload a new video in the future. It's been your boy, Elders Gaming, and I'll see you guys next time. Peace! Oh, 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 oh,